There are going to be times when you're carving spoons or spatulas that you want to put a hole in the handle so you can tie some type of cordage on to possibly hang up. So today what I want to talk about was a gimlet. It's a great tool. It's very small. It's compact. It's easy for a woodsman to carry and it allows us then to drill very precise holes in different projects. Even if it's not a carving project and we would need for some type of trap or kitchen system that we need to drill holes because we might be low on cordage possibly, we can use these gimlets. A knife will work. The problem with the knife though, of course, is as it thickens up and we drive down through our piece of wood, it's gonna make that hole real big on each side and the center not as big. So a gimlet works out really well. This gimlet I purchased recently on Amazon, actually a whole set of them, all different sizes for under $10. And this vintage gimlet that I picked up was $2 at a yard sale. So they're around, you just gotta look for them and you've probably seen them before if you look at tools often, you might just not know what they are. So they're very easy to use. They have a lead screw that gets drilled into your wood and then of course an auger style bit further up to clean out the wood and we'll have a hole. One thing I like to tell individuals though is if you're carving and going to do this, you don't wanna get super close to the end with the possibility of splitting out. So actually come in a little bit further and then just start that lead screw by turning it down into the wood. It's a very straightforward process. Depending on how hard the wood is, depends on how much pressure you need to start that. But once that lead screw catches, it's very easy to just turn it. Now what I like to do is spin it over and look if it's sticking out the backside, which you can see it started to come through. At that point, I'll back this out and come in on the backside. Now you can drive right through. The problem with doing that though, is that you can really bust up the back end of your wood. So it's just like using a drill. Once you get that small pilot hole through, you drill both sides and then you're gonna have yourselves a nice clean hole. So you see that that went through really easily. And once you get to this further part on the gimlet, you can actually just work that through and that'll smooth out that inside a little bit. Back it out a little bit, whoop. And we have ourselves a nice hole. Now we can clean that edge up, but the hole is a lot more consistent than trying to drill it through with a knife. So this was Dan Wolak with Coal Cracker Bushcraft. I hope you enjoyed this video. Some of these old vintage tools could be super useful for us woodsmen, and especially if they're small and compact like these gimlets, they're just a great addition to your kit. So check them out online. If you haven't already, check us out over at coalcrackerbushcraft.com. And until the next video, stay in the woods, guys.